Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is set world location and rotation? So this node is just a helper node. We have our set world location node and we have our set world rotation node. This one simply allows us to combine it into one node if we only wish to set the location and the rotation instead of setting location, rotation, and scale by using the transform node or by using two separate nodes. Basically, it just combines two nodes into one. It takes in a scene component. In this case, we're going to be taking in our sphere, which is our root scene component in this example. It's this item here. And then it takes in a location, which is a vector, and a rotation, which is a rotator. And it works just like the individual nodes, except it's combined. Let's go ahead and look at it for the example. I'm going to split our location. I'm going to tell it to basically move across the scene. And I'm not going to set up a rotator. I'll hit play. And we can see it moving. Let's give it like 0.3. We can see it moving along the Y because that's what I told it to do. Now if we were to plug in a rotation, so let's go ahead and split our rotation. Let's tell it to rotate along the, well, we'll try rotating along the Y as well. So we're just gonna pass along the same values. And there we go. So now it's moving and rotating along the Y. That's pretty much it. That's what it's intended to be used for. It's intended to combine two nodes into one. It contains sweeping and teleporting as well. If we have sweeping turned on and it hits an item with collision or it overlaps a overlap trigger, then it's going to go ahead and fire off those events. Or in the case of a hit, it's just simply going to stop. Teleport will disable physics if we are moving long distances. And if we have sweeping turned on, it's going to have a hit result from the sweeping and we're going to get back a normal hit result. One thing to keep in mind, more than likely at this time of 4.14 and even later, when you sweep against a rotation, it simply will not work. For whatever reason, the setters with rotation and sweeping, rotation is not supported. It should still work for the movement though. So if we run this example, let's see if anything happens. Rotating, of course, is not causing anything to happen. The movement itself stops, as you can see there. So it worked exactly like it's supposed to. Rotation doesn't count for sweeping. That's why when it rotated, you didn't see it hitting the ground. However, the movement of our root object did get stopped when it hit the wall. And now, of course, our node itself isn't going to run at all because it's stuck because we can no longer set a new location. Our sweeping worked. And of course, if we turn sweeping off, we saw it worked fine. Rotation not triggering anything because, well, sweeping's off. And then also, our collision isn't working because, again, sweeping is off. That's it. That is our set world location and rotation node. It is a helper node. It takes in a scene component, takes in a location and a rotation, and you have sweeping and teleporting as your options.